I'm a doctor, I'm a university professor, I'm a writer, I'm a creator of some concept in the field of coaching. And I think that, you know, all in all, I am a kind of modern, uh, what we call Don Quixote. I'm trying to change the world. So what I do, I publish books. I develop methodologies for some areas and ideas where we can apply some of the ideas in my books. And I develop some tools. Some of them are presented here in my back. So that's what I do. I was a university professor and my first books were directed to university students. Those were textbooks. And because I speak different languages, my textbook did very well in three languages, in Spanish, in English, and in uh, French. Then they got translated to other languages, including Chinese and uh, Russian. And I would say that in the last uh, uh, 15 years or 20 years, I started to write books for professionals. And I was lucky to uh, publish them with some of the biggest name in the publishing industry. So it was an evolution, I think. I can tell you that recently I'm experimenting in writing for children, and I did not even imagine that I will write to children. But because I want to help parents instill values in the children, I want to help professors, teachers instill values in the students, I decided that one of the best way to do it is through a tale. So one tale is already out, it's called the Ma Magic Carpet and the Islands of Values. And then I'm finishing uh, the continuation, another tale that will be out in 2023. My writing starts in my head. So when I write, have a theme, I start to prepare it in my head. You know, so I have the chapters, I have the structure. And then my way of writing a book is very simple. It's like a sandwich. I start with my objective and introduction. I write the conclusion. In other words, after you've read this book, here is what you can take away. So I would say it takes me between uh, three to six months to finish a book. Many of my books were translated, but not translated virtually. I translate and adapt. So some of my books, let's say in English, were translated to Chinese, but I have a Chinese co-author that adapts it also to the Chinese culture. What I've learned and what I've researched, and I can prove it scientifically, is that when you understand what's important in your life, and when you align it, with your own objectives in life, you're happier, you're productive, and you're not sick. And that's why all my books are gravitated around the issue of values, health, stress, well-being. And the last one, I call it the magic word that everyone is using is resilient. We want to be resilient, especially in the type of world that we have today that is complex, chaotic, and we don't know what the future is holding. You know, when I wrote textbook, uh, those students and other uh, university professors that decide that my books are good enough to adapt them use with the students. But I intend to write to professionals in different fields, any professional. If they're executive, if they are health professionals, if they are change agent. So the category is pretty large because it can fit a wide range of audience. Unfortunately, I cannot, I'm not novelist. I say I cannot write it just to a person on the street that doesn't want when he reads or she reads to reflect a little bit. My books require some reflection. Two days ago was my birthday and the, the community of people that I touched their heart prepared a video for me. And I had tears in my eyes because 90% of the people that were in the video and they come from all over the world to, told me that after they read my book, after they participate in some of the workshop that my team offer based on my books, their life changed. Their life changed for the better. So, I mean, I'm very happy. I'm very, and I'm getting daily messages from people that I never met. And there is nothing that makes me happier than getting this. And I'm telling you very seriously, it's even more important than money because this is my value system. Words are very powerful. And if you understand what's behind it, you can first of all become a change agent of yourself. And then with the knowledge and the experience you accumulate, you can affect some other people.